So I like us to make a spring scale. So pretty much all you really need is rubber band, paper clips, some sort of paper. And I found post-its to work the best. And for me, toilet paper roll worked well. So um, you want to make a couple hole punches. So first I set it up with finding the inner part of my spring scale. So I'm just going to get a post-it note and fold it into thirds. So one, two, and I want to take advantage of the sticky part. So it just sticks right there. Hole punch and punch a hole to kind of attach the rubber band to. So I'm going to go about the first one in. Punch. Nice small hole. Next is our paper roll, and I already did some punches. I tried to do another video, but it was just too hard of the angle. So I just put two here and two here. So now you kind of have two. The idea is to put this inside and have the rubber band attached, and then you can pull this out based on this. So I'm actually going to punch another hole over here. Oops. Okay, so now you have two here, four here, some paper clips. We're going to open up the paper clip to kind of make a hook for us. And this paper clip not only is gonna hook up to the top, but it's also gonna hold our rubber band. So we could kind of do this initially with whichever one you wanna use. Um, I was gonna use this one just so it's a little bit shorter, but you could pick whichever one works best for you. Just kind of thread this through. Tie it up like that hook it through over here and now you kind of just have to squeeze it through actually I'll hook it up afterwards so you kind of thread this through the hole and then hook up the paper clip or sorry the rubber band thread it through this hole and let's see if I got all this correct let's see if you can see what I'm doing so now I have my paper clip through both holes I have the rubber band through one side I can just shove it in like so, all the way down. So now I have a hook, I have my rubber band in the middle, and then my paper, which now could hang down based on the thing. So now we want to hook one more paper clip on the other side. Thread this through. And now you have your homemade spring scale. So when you put something on, it will stretch out. And now you just have to make a scale for it. So let's say you wanted to, I have to find something heavy. <laughs> but anyway, you get the point. Um, if you want something that stretches out more that can measure lighter things, then you probably want to get a rubber band that's a little bit less stretchy. Um, but this one's pretty taut, so that's why it will probably be better for heavier things. But very simple spring scale. The last thing you need to do is calibrate it. So you need to get something that's known and write down the masses as it gets bigger and bigger.